Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. The Niamh here with some, well, more card survival, tropical island. We're gonna be playing some more tourist, the newest addition to our custom classes inside the card survival. If you're enjoying our playthrough here, don't forget to like and subscribe. So yeah, uh, with the last update, uh, we got some nice missions for the tourists here. The holidays must go on. A lot of interesting stuff, but all this interesting stuff will all be in a whale unless we can. Uh, I'll survive first. So, we got this nice kiln going on here. We made a clay vase. Uh, we made some clay jars. Now, I want to make some pots. And uh, after that... After that, we'll see. I'm gonna use up all the clay we have here. And let's see. Some more pots. Yeah, I like my pots. Pots are good, trust me. There we go, another one. Cool. Ready in two hours or so. Uh, okay, we're kind of getting out of clay, so I'm gonna make some more. We're gonna definitely fight the monkeys. Oh, we actually got one there. <laughs> nice. Okay, one well, of the cooking pots is done, so we're gonna grab it out, put another one in. There we go. And let's see. Maybe make a couple more clay okay bug bites well actually we already have the typhus so i'm not gonna worry about bug bites too much here we're kind of running oh we got bitten hmm. we're kind of running low on food so i also wanna do another sago palm so we're gonna do that although priority right now for me definitely is uh making sure we get some nice pottery going okay Cool, we're gonna fix up the inventory eventually. And let's see, do we get any more spoilables? No, but we have a lot of them ready to go. Good, uh, so these are working. Let's uh, let's get some more clay. Okay, another pot is done, good. I'm gonna put another one inside there. And maybe a couple more of these. They're kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make a couple more of these and then we'll probably stop. We can always like fire it up again if we have like time and effort to do some more. It takes a while to heat up, so I like to use use it while it's nice and hot. Okay, out of clay. I can make another one here. There. I wonder if the macaques will be grabbing uh, my clay, clay jars and stuff though. Hmm. I don't think they do. We'll see. Pots I'm pretty sure they don't touch though. Uh, I am a little bit stressed out though. So, one of the things I would like to do actually. Oh, let's go and drink some water. Got some here. Oops. There we go. Wonderful. I'm gonna put the rotten remains inside the the, the trunk there, yeah, nice. So I'm recording all this back to back if you're wondering. Uh, so basically on the first day of release, all these episodes done until now. So, but didn't notice any bugs yet. And well, usually they also fix these bugs relatively fast. We'll see how all of that goes. I'm gonna make one more here and then I'm gonna stop. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, see. Let's put another one in. Do we do a glazed vase? No. We don't probably don't gonna need glazed vase like at all. Um, right. So we let this thing burn out. Yeah, let's go have some fun. I'm gonna leave the monkey here. Let's uh, think. Let's think. Let's think. What would seagulls like to eat that we have access to? Bugs, I guess. Okay. Grab this water real fast. Dig up some dirt. Okay, do we have enough time to go have some fun, come back? I think so. Although, yeah, sure, let's go. Need, some, need to have some fun. I'll like... 
like I'm not gonna dive here. We'll make a sand castle. Cool. That's gonna distress us. We're gonna drop some bugs down though. Forgot to do it. Gonna grab some lemongrass. There we go. Use the spear. Nice. Okay, took some bugs. That's fine. Got some. Uh we're gonna fight it, of course. Bugs and conk, that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. So the bug bites are going down. Okay, we have some food here. Uh let me see. Let me see what else do I wanna do. Uh I can peel some coconut here. Yeah, okay, there we go. And we're gonna can we bash it? No, we can't. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> with all these animals, I kind of got stuck here. So we're just gonna take a full eight hour sleep and then we're gonna head back. Makaki attacked me at the bay. I wonder if that's like intended. Okay, a little bit, a little bit going crazy here. That's fine though. There we go. Let's sleep for one more hour. Yeah, that rest will like relax us. Okay, I'm gonna wash the wound healed. Right, let's see the wound situation. So we got one makaki bite going. Okay, I'm gonna go to the beach and we're gonna swim here. I'm gonna grab some stuff. Well, actually, let's grab these bugs as well. Stones, heavy stone. Heavy stone, I'm gonna leave here actually. There. Okay, let's head back. So the bugs, oh, the bugs actually spoiled, right? Let's take the conks, let's take the coconut and the husk, and let's see. I think the, the storm will take these away, so let's take them home with us. Some sand, well, you never know when you're gonna need some sand. Okay, that's full. Really? This backpack's not really that, that big. Should have eaten these bananas, then I would not be so much under stress, but... What's the stress anyway? That's pretty low. Um, right, and I can almost carry all of that back. There we go. <laughs> let's get let's get home after our big adventure at the at the beach sleeping in the sand. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh unfired clay jar, gonna put it in the trunk. There we go. I'm gonna take these out. Um I kind of wanna move into the plane crash now probably. So I'm gonna start the move here. There we go. Also, sand. I'll probably leave the sand out. We need to clean this place up a little bit. Uh, let's grab the... <laughs> I need to turn this into useful things, to be honest. How's my flip-flops doing? They're doing fine. I'm very good on morale. No, not really that great. Okay. Okay, let's see. So monkeys like to take conks. So we're gonna grab these and put them like here. There we go. And one of them put them up here. Uh, we'll need some fuel for the campfire. Uh, did I bring back? Okay, banana, let's eat it. How's my banana cropla doing? 27%. That's pretty good. Let's see, can we plant anything? Come on, crabs, spoil. Come on, lemongrass, spoil. Okay, so for planting stuff, We'll need, we'll need dirt. This will also give us a lot of bugs. Bugs, we can put the bugs inside the traps here. We caught one, uh, one partridge inside one of these, one dead partridge, and that was actually pretty useful. And we got a monkey here that we definitely want to process, so we're gonna do that. Where's my sharpened stone? Did I make an axe from it? Probably. And actually, let's go and do that, all of that inside. Now, there's some items here that I might not be willing to lose to monkey raids. So I probably want to keep them safe. The rest we're gonna put in there. So we're gonna carry these outside now. So they're not cluttering up the place. Yeah, this is going a little bit slow, but that's okay. Okay, let's pin this down. There we go. First day kit, do we really need this thing? Is this thing like even remotely useful? How can you put inside? Not much, right? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna throw it 
Should we throw it away or we keep it as a namesake? Let's keep it as a namesake. Uh, all of this is so useful though, look at that. And this is full. Yeah, I need more room. We need more room. Uh, this we're gonna empty. Okay. Actually, okay, let's do it like that. What can we do with this thing? Can we put it inside something? Hmm. I wonder if it's safe here. From monkey raids. Should be, right? Hidden away in the campfire. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. Nobody knows. Okay, grab some cloth here. I mean, I'm gonna be fighting monkeys off anyway now. It's gonna be a hard struggle. We're gonna have a lot of makaki bites going, but... We can probably take it. There. Okay, uh, so I'm a little bit stressed. Bug bites. Oh, the bacteria typhus is going up, so we should monitor it. Uh, okay, we're gonna butcher. There we go. Makaki skewers and a bone knife. Okay. Is this thing worth it? No, we don't have any chilies, so we're probably not gonna make it. Uh, let's store the food. Let's see. Let's store the food inside our backpack, though. Okay, my first piece of leather. Good. Bone. We can make a knife from it. So that's good. Okay, let's place a coconut there. Let's make sure these are all nice and pinned. I guess we can pin that as well. We can put that all the way to the right. Put the tool all the way to the left. Wonderful. The spear's holding up nicely. That goes up, that goes down. That's good. Little bit in pain. I guess we could take a painkiller now. Painkiller would be alright. Crop spoiled. Okay, that's good news. That's good news because that means we can do another planting thing here. Oh. Okay. There. Yeah, we're in a lot of pain. Uh, okay, time for another painkiller. And another antibiotic. There we go. Wonderful. I can let's carry this with us now. Okay, uh, so yeah, I want to build a stove. I want to build a stove. Do we have any more mud? We actually have some. And some sand. So what are we gonna eat though? That's a good question. We got two more sago flour. Um Yeah. How are we doing with water? Not the best actually. So I'm like maybe not sago. We have one more banana tree. <laughs> we can eat some worms always. Are this even healthy to eat? I mean they're okay I guess. I mean they do reduce morale but then it's gonna go up again anyway, so this is relatively fun to do, right? You should do that inside, though. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's make one more of these. Uh, so let's see. How about that stove, then? Uh, where is it there? Okay. Okay. I mean, need to turn these as well into... I don't know if I have any more sand around. I don't. I mean, I can do it with ash, but it's not like my preferred way to do it. I can do it with fibers. Let's do it with fibers. I think fibers are now more plentiful than ash, surprisingly enough. Okay, we're a little bit dirty. We're gonna wash with a small portion out of this thing. There. And then if we wanna do stuff, we should probably do it inside. Okay, seven more bricks. Couple of sticks. Okay, let's build the first stage and then, okay, I think, I think I'll actually do the sago thing. Well, we do have the coconut. Okay, we need more tools here. Oh, okay, I cannot do another one. <laughs> oh, it, they actually do take clay jars, okay. And they will probably come inside here. So I wonder. Okay, I can't build a door yet. Okay, this one's gonna be interesting. Okay, pin that. Pin that. Okay. 
This one's gonna be interesting. So we kind of have to fight them. The monkey curse. I guess it's not as easy then, right? Does it trigger it again when we exit? No. Okay. And there's our tools. Wonderful. And let's eat. So now when we spend more time inside, they're probably gonna come inside. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna put the coconut shells next to our other stuff here. Actually, no. Coconut shells goes next to the coconut. That makes perfect sense. Wonderful. A little bit tired of eating coconuts, but that's all right. Uh, okay, now we can unpin these. Good. Wood also. Everything goes inside now. Since we are building a stove. Uh, so wood stuff goes here. There we go. Ba -da -ba -ba. Okay, this is already paint. Wonderful. Okay, what's next? Luggage. Okay, a whole bunch of crap inside that one. Mm. Let's see. I wonder, like, if you, like, take shorts or underwear and turn it into, like, cloth, is that, like, heavier or lighter? Probably lighter, right? Okay, this socks really heavy, but socks are actually useful. Socks we're gonna use a lot. Right now we don't need, probably need double socks, though, so... Okay, socks are useful. Shirt, I'm not sure about... Okay, this we could save for some harder times, actually. It does increase morale, so if we need a morale boost, we can use that. Uh, okay, we have two more rotten remains, so we can actually do another planting thing, and we'll do it. We need sticks, okay, we gather them inside, that's okay. A lot of entering and exiting. Build that. Okay, wound healed. Wonderful. Right, we have some food there. Okay, leaves. I'm gonna grab all these things. Nice, and grab all the coconuts and move into our palace here. It's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable because it's dirty. It shouldn't be too hard to clean it though if we decide we need it to be a little bit cleaner than it is though. Okay, that goes there and that goes there. There we go. Bean these as well, we did. Extract the fibers, do them here. Wonderful. So I have this specific way of like uh, putting stuff in. Like the ordering. So if you like watched a lot of my videos, you more or less are like accustomed. So stones, then wood, then uh, like tailoring stuff, then coconuts, then water. So I don't have to use the filters basically. I know where everything is, so we just scroll and use it. So it's just how I got used to doing things, I guess. Okay, these things, not sure if you're gonna actually need them, but... You know what, tourniquet, ah, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, this thing we're gonna put inside, like here. My toolbox, my toolbox. Yeah, monkeys are really a pest, aren't they? We should fight them more. But then we're gonna be unhappy because we are wounded, so. Okay, I'm gonna place this thing down. Let's remove the skewers, though. So this is my tool chest, and apparently some of my food. So, three more mud bricks. Mm. Three more mud bricks. Can we make that? Okay, got some charcoal here. Let's put it in there. That was a lot. That was really a lot. Okay, clay bowl. I think we're just gonna use coconut shells from now on. So, uh, this is just cluttering my space. Okay, this can stay outside. This bottle of water. Uh, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like just putting some water in it and storing it away for the bad days. There we go, we can place it in here. I guess that works. 
This thing can hold a lot of water, right? So we can keep this water safe from evaporating and we can fill up all the pots. Let's do that. So that way water will stop evaporating, which is my like one of my goals here. Okay, place that in there, grab that. Okay, so now all the water is stopped from evaporating, which is great. Uh, would be good if we can finish this thing. If we can't, we're gonna be a little bit hungry, which means I should probably like eat some coconuts. And there we go. Or oh, well, get them ready to be eaten. Uh, good. Uh, next thing. Okay, this place is a little bit uncomfortable. Increases my stress, which is going down. Uh... Which is going down. Why is my stress going down? Oh, because we are high on medicine. That's good. That's good. That makes things a little bit simpler. Mm. Do we have enough time to go grab some sand, come back? Yeah, we do. We can also build a sand castle or something. Since we have like no entertainment right now. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, so our bed is outside here. I guess we're gonna remake it inside again. <laughs> <laughs> Fun times. Babe. Okay, I'm gonna build another sand castle here, and it's actually raining. That's that's great. Okay, let's head back. Oh yeah, I came for some sand. There we go. Let's bring back one heavy stone. Do we need heavy stone here for whatever reason? I don't think we do. And we need... Wait, what? Grind. Okay. And we need, like... We're gonna need to... We're gonna bake some of these for some lime. At some point. Okay, we've got some leaves here, which is really good for, like, starting fires. So we don't have to use fibers and stuff. So that's great. Then we're gonna need three more bricks. And we will not be able to do it <laughs> on time. Um, okay, that's fine though. That's totally fine. Uh, let's do some anyway. Okay, now it's dark, so we can do it. We can... Uh, okay, bug bites going down, bacteria typhus under control. Yeah, let's go and take a rest here. And then we're gonna eat that and do some fiber extraction. I'm gonna sleep. So tonight we sleep in the darkness, not ideal, but then tomorrow we're gonna build a stove and things will things will normalize. And then we can use this to actually get some usage out of our time. Eat some of these. Take another one hour rest and then we're gonna finally build a stove. And things will improve dramatically after this point on. Because stove is just so wonderful. Uh, let's see, comfort, minimal comfort. So we actually have comfort even though it's super dirty. And comfort uh, reduces stress. Yep, so that's really nice. We are not entertained. Are you not entertained? Well, times are tough. Okay, let's empty these. Uh, good, let's see. Got two sand here. I can put it outside. The leaves, though, the leaves go like here. So we can start the stove with it. Sand, we're gonna put it outside, I guess. Hmm. Is there anything important here? No. I wonder, they're not really attacking me in the plane crash. I wonder if that's like bugged. I think it's bugged. I think it's bugged. Because like as soon as I exit, I get raided. And I did not get raided even once inside here. Even though I have plenty of things they want to grab, like clay jars. Well, 
first things first, they don't even check what's there, right? The monkeys just come whenever their cooldown is done. They're like, okay, there's a human there. Let's go and raid him, right? And, uh... And, like, I think they have, like, this cooldown, how, how often they can come. Otherwise, they would come all the time. It's going to be super annoying, right? And I think since the tourist has, like, a monkey curse, they, they go for the tourist more often. However, uh, they don't really... They, like, as soon as I exit, they raided me right away. And that, that, like, suggests to me that the cooldown was ready. They were about to raid, and they were just waiting for the cooldown to, to finish so they can raid me. But then why didn't they do it inside? It's not like any time passed between me switching the location, right? So I have a feeling that playing Crash protects you from monkey raids. That's ridiculous because the whole point of the struggle of the tourists should be like fighting or monkeys. So we should report a bug on this. And not sure how I can prove it, but you know, <laughs> it's kind of obvious, isn't it? Okay, uh, let me actually grab this thing. I'm gonna carry it inside. There. So this is like our drunk place, I guess. I got another t-shirt here. Got some sago flour. I could start off the stove, cook some food. I kind of also want to go and explore a little bit, so we're gonna do that first. Trying to find some burnables and stuff. Okay, so we got a lot of spider lily. And actually, we are having problem with bacteria typhus. Uh, let's... Uh, I totally forgot. Let's uh, let's fill up our uh, clay jars. No, I mean our coconut bowls. And you know what? I'm gonna take down another sago tree here. Sago palm. And this gave me like a million palm fronts as well. Which is amazing since... Uh, we need fuel for our stove, so... Yeah, funny how things come together sometimes in this game. There we go. Almost halfway full from one Sago Palm. Isn't that amazing? Uh, right, so let's do that. Okay, the wound healed. Wonderful. Place this inside here. Uh, let's see. This is still under control, so that's nice. Um... Does this use up the axe? Yep, it does. I think that's really bad. So we're gonna use the... Because axe is kind of... Takes a while to make, right? Um, so we can use that instead. So we're gonna use like... Once more. Oh, we can just go ham here, actually. Will this be enough sharpened stone? Like at the start, I wanted to grind some like ASAP because I was like super hungry. Yeah, so again, it attacks me outside. And this is like almost cheating because there's nothing for them to take there. So if you carry everything that is useful inside... Well, I could also hide it in the trunk, right? So it's not really a big deal. Although this is already so full. <laughs> We got a lot of rot in the remains, so we can do some planting. But I want to do the sago thing first now. Okay, let's put them inside there. Okay. I kind of want the reservoir next as well, just to be a little bit more immune to like problems of that kind. Okay, what do we have in here? We have another axe. I'll take the axe out. I'll leave the handrail inside. That's way too important to get stolen in case I'm wrong, right? Oh, the rain stopped falling. Okay. I guess what we got out of it, we got out of it. Mm. There. Okay, some more food. Uh, let's cook some up. And let's also cook some makaki meat. There we go. And yeah, and we'll put this inside there. And wonderful. 
Sago seeds we'll put inside the trunk. Okay, so we got some spoilables here. I want to use them. Good. We are hungry though. Do we have any food? Okay, we do have that. Okay, that's gonna take me. Okay, this thing's like acting up again. So let's grab some more antibiotics. Good. And yeah, let's go plant. Okay, we still have some stuff spoiling, right? Yeah, a whole bunch of lemongrass. We should go grab some more tomorrow. We're gonna be planting some banana trees. And those are like, well, some of my favorite ways to, to nourish myself, so. But yeah, in order to plant, we need some mud. Although, we already have one ready here, so let's use it. There we go. A little bit more mud. Trap. Okay. Let's build another one. Great. Okay, this thing. Cool. We'll need more sticks. We'll need more ash, actually. We'll need more of everything. There we go. That's useful. We can unpin these, I guess, and just have them, like, sort of be around. A lot of sticks. So do we have the sticks outside for whatever reason? Yeah, we kind of rarely do anything with sticks, so let's just have them outside. Weird decision, but hey, we did it, so. A lot of unsafe water here. So, yeah, we'll definitely need to cook up some. But uh, it's time to do that anyway, so. Uh, what did I want to do outside? I wanted to, like, let's explore a bit more. Uh, let's grab some, oh, this is insane. 18 palm bushes. <laughs> So we can like use these alone to like uh, feed the, the, the thing. So half an hour to like fill it up by quite a bit. Okay, so this is ready. And this is ready. Bam. And this is ready also. I'm gonna put it inside our backpack here. I love a little thing. Okay, and then let me think. Okay, we got some sago here that we need to process. But before anything else, I need to cook some water here. Because we're getting quite thirsty. There. Wonderful. And this thing. Oh, okay, whatever. What else can we do? Okay, we are lonely. Let's talk to our friend. Bam. Okay. Rotten remains. Put it inside there. Does this stink up the place? It does, actually. Mm. So maybe we don't need this thing inside here. Uh, what's the alternative? I need a new basket. <laughs> That's what we need. Okay. That's not so bad, though, right? Okay. Uh, let's uh, make some quartz. Okay. This is done. Let's uh, see. A little bit more water to make safe there so this unsafe water we're gonna remove i don't want uh, i don't want unsafe water paint although we have one more saga to take care of okay now we can drink these i'll actually let's drink from that and then empty it inside okay this is not paint we should pin it there and this thing just drink that. I'm gonna have it here, although we're not really gonna use it. Okay, let's grind that. Okay, uh, Sago. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. We just did that, right. Okay. Uh, take these out. Good. Hmm. Right, so we now need to wait. Can we take. Okay, this. Wait, what? Why are these so heavy? They increase the the. No, right? Oh, this we can use for um, for stuff as well. For like fiber. For temper, I wanna say not fiber. Okay, let's make like a knife here. Uh, let's see, tools, bone knife. There we go. Take out. So 
top ourselves off a little bit. Oh no, not needed. Okay. Some more food. Wonderful. This will take out. The knife you're gonna put in the tool basket there. Okay, now we can sleep next to the comfy uh comfy fire here. I guess. But we don't have a bed. And we cannot make one. Yay. Well, my backs will not be happy, but sometimes it do be like that. We need something to drink. No, we actually don't need anything to drink. We're quite fine here. Okay, let's grind that. How many do we have here? A lot. That's good. Okay, so another Sago tree done. So a little bit less to worry about that. Uh, we can like drink some of the coconut. Now, this perforated coconuts, I'm gonna leave them around just in case we want to plant something with that. We can always eat them before they spoil if we want to, so that's okay. Uh, actually, the axe I like to keep here. Uh, well, that's not gonna work, will it? It's been a while since we used that, so let's do it. There we go. Um, there, let's sleep for an hour. Great. Turn this thing off. Take some charcoal and ash. Wonderful. Gonna take these outside. Uh, yeah, so as soon as I exit, the monkeys are like, yeah, we've been waiting for you, man. It's like, we can ignore them, but I wanna train my spear fighting. And this is like amazing, because they cannot do anything to you since there's nothing here. I mean, it's not amazing. It sucks since it's a bug. So, I don't know what to say. This should be harder. They should be grabbing my stuff. But then I will just keep the things they grab safely inside the basket and the trunk, right? Which I already do, more or less anything. I don't want to grab it inside here. I guess we would we would like also place these, which we can't for some reason. That's kind of silly. Why can't I like gently place one of these water like on the bottom? It wouldn't spill because we're not carrying it around anyway. I don't know, but anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So we made a nice stove. Finally, we live a little bit better here. Maybe we start tearing these things down. A seed to sit on could take it apart for materials. So you need to grab what an axe. No, how do we how do we do it? Maybe we need to detach it first. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day and. Uh, I'll see you back tomorrow for another episode. The Numer signing out. Bye-bye.